The festival may be nearing its end, but it continues to showcase the very best in contemporary international cinema. Day 14 brought the UK gala premiere of Roland Emmerich's Anonymous, a thriller which questions the genesis of Shakespeare's works. Why can't I change the world with words? None of your poems or your plays will ever carry your name. What inspired me was just research and, and first learning of uh, the issue as a whole, the Shakespeare authorship issue. And the more I read, the more fascinated I became and the more absolutely convinced I was that there was a great movie somewhere in all of this. I would love, you know, that what happens is that there's more discussion about Shakespeare, that you can openly talk about it and that people through my movie, you know, find back to Shakespeare. Well, we should always challenge our views on, on something that, you know, there, there's, no, there's no definitive answer as to who wrote these amazing plays. Uh, this film's a celebration of all those plays, and uh, this just offers us a, um, an, an alternative view on it. It's a story, it's just like a story that Shakespeare himself would have written, full of drama, turning things upside down, the hero's the villain, vice versa. So it's very Shakespearean, and Roland's just done this really beautiful epic film. Promise me you'll keep our secret safe. The Awakening also had its European premiere. Rebecca Hall stars as a woman trying to disprove the existence of ghosts, who begins to find her rational beliefs shattered. Did any of you see this ghost boy for yourselves? I did miss. It was on the upper corridor. Left sea, shall we? Magnetic field detector. Those are footprint catchers. Ghosts have footprints. No, people pretending to be ghosts do. You've got to be a bit careful with the genre because, it, it, like, like, like a lot of cinema, uh, all genre pieces have to engage to a certain degree with traditions and with cliches and with those sort of um, tropes of storytelling. I don't think you can go straight in and say, right, we're going to completely rewrite the book. It's not why people, what people enjoy a genre piece about. Some of my favourite films are. The horror movies. Oh, well, I don't know. Rosemary's Baby is probably one of my favourite films of all time. The Shining. I'm, you know, it's they're, they're very kind of mixed. You don't necessarily put them in a pigeonhole, but I suppose those sorts of films have always interested me. I grew up going to the cinema in Britain and sitting in the dark and the Hoylake Classic Cinema up in up in Merseyside to to, to, to come and to come and uh, show the premiere in the UK at the London Film Festival. I mean, it's become in the last 15 years under under Sandra Hebron's um, guidance, it's become a phenomenal festival. And finally, the festival was proud to present the world premiere of Hunky Dory, starring Minnie Driver as a teacher committed to staging a student production of The Tempest with a contemporary soundtrack. It's Britain, it's 1976, and I think um, what we wanted to do with this film was really have um, the music played for real in the film, not, not a sort of uh, a playback miming thing, so every, every kid in the film uh, who sings or plays, plays for real. It's very evocative of that time, and it's really, really fun, and the music is absolutely amazing. You've got kids play from 7 to 17 playing every instrument on reforming Bowie and ELO and it's it's magic it's magical I think really it was uh, inspired in a way by all those American high school movies you know the American graffitis all those films and you think well why can't we do we've got such amazing sort of musical tribes here why don't we do a, a British one <laughs>